This video is over cross-channel conflict and the business strategy game. I'm your professor, Dr. Stephen Haggard. What is cross-channel conflict? Well, when you're selling goods in more than one venue or market, then you have the possibility of what is called cross-channel conflict. For instance, what if I am a Chinese manufacturer? and I am selling to Americans who have stores on Amazon.com. As long as I am selling directly to stores who sell on Amazon.com, there's no chance of cross-channel conflict. But what if I start selling directly on Amazon.com myself? At that point, now I am competing with my customers. And my customers might be able to put up with that so long as my price was not very different from theirs. Because after all, perhaps they've built up a reputation and a brand name that might give them an advantage. Plus, they might be shipping from the United States. But what if I sold my product to people directly through my store on Amazon much more cheaply than my customers were able to sell for on Amazon? That would draw business away from by wholesale customers at the expense of their stores. And so what would that mean? Most likely they would stop carrying my product. Well, hopefully my setup where I'm selling directly would be strong enough then to handle all of my output. But the likely outcome would be that I would lose overall profitability and overall value of my firm. And so I want to make sure that when I do sell directly to customers, such as through an online store, that I do not charge a price that's so low that the retailers who sell my product think that I am their competitor. In the BSG, you have at least two channels. Let's just say two channels. You have two channels. You've got wholesale, which is selling to shoe stores and you've got your online presence where you sell directly to consumers. And the player's guide is very specific about this situation. It is important to avoid setting such a low internet price that you put your company in direct competition with retailers who stock your company's brand. Now, you uh, notice that highlighting there. That's something that I've added. It's very important. Okay, so if you post a low internet price, there's a chance that it will be seen as a conflict, a channel conflict to your retailers. Footwear retailers view your website price as a direct competitive threat to their business whenever it is less than 40% above the wholesale price you charge them. Now notice that the wholesale, the percentage is in bold there. Then they give this example. If your wholesale price to retailers is $50, then your internet price should be 70 or higher to avoid channel conflict. Now, how did they get 70? 40% of 50 is 20. 50 plus 20 is 70. Now, I had a group of students, actually, sadly, I've had more than one group of students who come to me, and they were selling wholesale for 100 and on their internet site for 120 and I said, you've got cross-channel conflict. And they said, how can that be? We're selling for $20 more, just like it showed in the example and the player's guide. And I said, look, it's not about the number of dollars, it's about the percentage. So you need to be selling online for 140, not 120, because it's the percentage that matters, not the dollar amount. Now, what happens if you start charging under that 40% benchmark? You're going to start losing retailers. People will stop carrying your shoes, and you'll lose a very valuable distribution channel for your product. Now, in closing, I'd like to give you the same piece of advice that I always give at the end of these talks, and that is to read the Flippin' Player's Guide. Folks, there is no substitute for reading the player's guide. The player's guide will not lead you wrong. And most of the times, the things that I see people doing poorly on the BSG are things that are very specifically mentioned in the player's guide as things not 
to do. So once again, read the Flippin' Player's Guide.